Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brody. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I decided I would tell you guys a story like I used to do on my old channel. And the gameplay you're going to be seeing in the background is my technically second World at War game ever. And uh, you'll be able to see in this game that I'm not very good and it's also in a hacked lobby. So yeah, I mean, that's just what you do. Uh, that's just how you spend your, uh, your mornings playing uh, World at War on the computer when you don't have school to go to. Suckers. <laughs> But anyways, let's get into the story today, because I'm sure that's what you're all here for. So anyways, the story today is about how I accidentally took MDMA, uh -oh, which is a, a chemical drug, which is not a very good thing to do. Because as we all know, drugs are bad, and especially bad if they're chemical. So anyways, I'm sure you guys probably have heard this story a little bit on my old channel, if you if you came from there. And uh, so let's, let's get into it. So what ended up happening was... I go clubbing a lot, okay? It's just what I do. I'm a party animal right now. I mean, I'm sure this phase will pass, but at some point in your life, if you're a little bit like me, you'll get to this phase where you just want to go partying a lot. So I'm in that phase right now. So I go clubbing, and this night we were just going nutty, all right? <laughs> we wanted to be really nutty. And uh, so what ends up happening is we're just, we're all pretty drunk. We all got drunk, which honestly, getting drunk at a nightclub is fun, okay? But we got to a next level drunk, which you should not do at a nightclub, and yeah. So, anyways, we're really drunk. I just met a girl the night before, so I invited her out to the club. She ended up coming. We're all having a party, and yeah. So, at the end of the night, I always hang out with girls, okay? And girls are full of drama. So, what ends up happening is, this girl didn't want to dance with her friend, which which is just stupid and it just caused them to get in an argument one of them like stormed off crying so she's gone we don't know where she is it's like two in the morning so it's about to close so there's really nothing like we have to find her because it's gonna close in half an hour what if she's gone like where did she go so we walk out of the club and uh, what ends up happening now is we get our jackets and out of nowhere the friend who stormed off shows up and we're like oh okay Hey, how's it going? And she's with two guys, and they're like, okay, great, what's going on now? So the guys are like, hey, do you guys want to come over to a house party? It's like an after party for cowboys. And, you know, I've never actually gone to an after party before, so I was like, hey, why not? You know, there's, it's, it's going to be a fun time. Why not? Let's go to an after party. And that was the first mistake I made. Actually, that was probably the second mistake I made. Because the first mistake I made was getting freaking plastered at this club. Actually, the first mistake I made was being friends with a bunch of girls, because it's just stupid drama all the time. Anyways. So we go to, uh, and walk to this guy's house because he actually lived pretty close to the club because the club's downtown and he lived in a downtown apartment. So we're walking to his house and all of a sudden I see us being put into an elevator to go up and I was getting a little bit worried at this time. I'm like, uh, I don't really know if I want to go up an elevator into an apartment here, but you know, plastered Brody decides to do it anyway. So we go up into this guy's room and this is where shit gets pretty real. So none of us really thought anything of it at first, but... It was kind of weird how this guy was pretty young and had a really, really nice apartment. Like a really nice apartment with an awesome view and everything. And so yeah, we go up to his room and we're just chilling. And he offers us some vodka. He's like, hey, you guys want a drink? And obviously you take a drink when you're offered a drink. Uh, that's what you do. So we accept the drink offer and uh, we all are doing good. We all outside just chilling on his balcony. And I went back inside with the girl I was with, like the girl that I had a thing with, not just the two friends, you know what I mean. We go inside and he's like, oh yeah, just so you guys know, I, there's MDMA in the in the vodka. And I was like, are you fucking serious? Like, fuck. Are you serious? What is going on? He's like, yeah, no worries guys, that's not all. We're gonna get some cocaine here pretty soon. So I'm like, okay, we're out of here. So I grabbed my friends and they're all like, yeah, let's leave. I don't want to do cocaine. So we all left. I told them we were all on MDMA. And honestly, guys, I wouldn't have known I wouldn't have known like what MDMA felt like if this guy didn't tell me. So the whole night I was wired. I was up till 8 in the morning, 8.30 in the morning, and I wasn't even tired. I, f I finally fell asleep at like 8 in the morning, all right? But it was just because I finally laid down after, uh, you know, having a little fun. <laughs> no, I, you know, I laid down. We went back to this girl's house because we're like, we have nowhere else to go. We go to her house and it is like 7.30 in the morning. My friends are running around screaming. Everyone is just wired out of their mind. And this is like five hours after the MDMA. And then finally, it wore off. So guys, like, don't mess with chemical drugs. Because honestly, if one of us 
responded to it badly, like our brains didn't handle it, it could have literally fried our brains and chemical drugs are a huge risk. So never do drugs that are chemical and even marijuana sometimes has bad effects. I know a lot of people smoke pot, but um, you know, it's always safe if you've never smoked pot just to maybe not do it because you never know how your body's gonna react. Luckily, none of us had a bad reaction to it and we're not like addicted to it or anything. So we're all good now and uh, yeah, we'll be more careful next time. So hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like rating and subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Have a great day guys and peace out.